Hey, what's up, guys? My little someday check you some nice, and today we're gonna be doing something bow related. Yeah, you guessed it. It's just because I think the bow is probably the most useful survival tool you can ever get. Um, the most game you can get, big game with with a bow and arrow made out of twigs, you know. So, but that's what not what we're here to talk about. What we're here to talk about is arrow tuning. Now in traditional archery, when you're shooting off, let me demonstrate for those who don't know. When you're shooting off the shelf, I just have a few soft hello, but I'm shooting right off the shelf. I have no mechanisms, I have no sight, I have nothing. It's all instinctive. And the thing is, when you're shooting these things and your arrows are not the right spine, this is 500 spine, cut down to a 29, so it's about a 450 spine, um, but that's because I'm shooting through a bow that's cut past center, and um, that pretty much makes the difference if you have a hard arrow or a soft arrow. If you have a bow that's only cut past, not past center, but a middle cut, you when you're signing up, you're going like this, and this is what it looks like. It's freaking confusing, but that's the paradox. The, the arrow is getting so compressed, so compressed, it just want to fling back around the riser and get on its way. But if it's going like this all the way to the target, fishtailing as they call it, you might want to think about arrow tuning. And arrow tuning is simply order a big arrow, take something off, make it harder. Uh, like you start with like a 600, let's say that. Then you cut a little bit off, and then it's a 500. Cut a little bit off, then it's a 400. You know how this works. And it's because the shaft is getting a whole bunch shorter, which means if I do like this, it's pretty easy. But if I do like this, it, 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 it's really hard, you know. I do like this, I can't even bend it, you know. And that's the point of a spine. It flexes around, it goes back, and it goes into this, <laughs> all the way to the target. But if it's going like this, and it's landing in the target like this, you got a knock lift, and knock lift is a good thing because you just gotta cut a little piece off. And when you finally get that true reading, that very true reading, or it's just a little knock right, you're gonna be very surprised, man, how your arrows fly, so. And it's just like I showed you in the previous video, cutting off your arrows is a big thing because you don't want them to break. So, but uh, anyway, my little someday take this and I hope you find this useful in uh, some way because uh, this is cut down to 29 from 30 inches because I don't have a very long drawing. I'm a short little son of a gun. But uh, I, I pull about 20, 29, just about 29 inches. And, and the thing is, I like this. I like just to have a little, a little meat on the bone for a, like a, a sharp point, but nothing more than that. And um, if you are using, not like this, a blunt point, a sharp edge point, like uh, maybe this. Let me get it here. If you're using something like this, don't. Cut them too short, it will fuck your hand up, I guarantee it. Okay? Because you're just pulling it, and you're pulling it, you're pulling it, and you're not used to bristling, and you're just kind of... And then your fingers start bleeding, and this is not a little happy fellow, trust me. So what you want to do is cut them a little long, just a little long. Find your right spine, cut them down if they're wobbly. And if you get that perfect reading just by cutting off a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, I cut off a whole inch and these arrows are perfect now. I mean, they fly like holy mackerel. So I hope you find this useful. But um, this might with some of the are nice. And I got bow on my brain too. But we're uh, starting in the, um, the workshop soon and we're going to be making knives again and... Uh, I can't wait to show you, so from now on and uh, probably until I die, this is my Sunday Tactics, bye, friend.